you're saying it's not personal but no, it was it's only not about mohammad asif all. You know, or are there more could... players in the pakistani team who are involved man look if i was only close to mohammad asif i can only talk about mohammad asif if i'm not close to any other cricketer how can i name them you know Muhammad Asif was the only person I was very very close to at that time and there is nothing personal against I'm talking in the you know interest of uh, I'm talking about I'm talking in the interest of you know our, our of my national interest and in the interest of cricket international cricket look this is the time where we need to punish all the, these guys who they are involved into such kind of activities to give the atmosphere to the people who their new boys who their newcomers who they're getting into it to get, to tell them that look not get into such kind of things and i have what nothing, action ma'am do you believe needs to be taken Pakistan. against mohammad asif and other players who've given pakistan cricket such a bad name should they be banned for life look uh, i i believe is that first of all let's not be judgmental whatever is going on in uk is you know that is under investigation and people very smart people are investigating it fia team from india uh, from pakistan also and then you know the british people and all so let's not be judgmental and if and if these all boys are guilty you know we should give them you know the kind of a punishment which is an example for the for the boys for the new boys who they want to get into this you know game and second my point is that you know if this is just an allegation and you know that is just a, uh, a malicious campaign against pakistan this is not a campaign if this is just an allegation this is allegation is not against pakistan is against cricket you know all the people from the world like pcb like indian board like you know the all those british uh, players and all they should take a serious action about it that you know the next time nobody is able you know to you know just blame uh, the cricket or just you know make false allegation against the cricket that's what i believe okay veena malik for the moment we're going to leave it over there you've come out you made a very passionate case you've trashed all the allegations that dheeraj dikshit has made against you you're saying you're speaking as a genuine whistle blower who has the interests of pakistan cricket in our mind and not as a woman scorned what's the last word ma'am you want to say to all those who are watching you tonight they don't know whom to believe they're wondering we're looking at this woman look, she's speaking how do we know she's telling the truth look i'm her and i'm a woman and i know i'm going to face a lot of troubles and i'm talking talking in the interest of the international cricket you know for mr dheeraj it's very easy to you know okay. make allegations or make silly statements about me let's be you know i have one request that please being an indian don't defend mr dheeraj that he is an indian i am a pakistani girl look i have come up with the proofs and if i am guilty i would have never you know uttered a single word because i know in the end if i am guilty i'll definitely be caught you know so i okay. think um the people out there who are you know watching me right now they can guess that who's right and who's wrong i'm here mr dheeraj is here i think this is the time and if you get this guy investigate and you guys get me you know investigate i okay. think you'll you know come easily come to know that who's right and who's wrong i'm not running away anywhere i'm here absolutely you're going nowhere you're saying you're open to an investigation let the fia yeah. let the icc investigate here's a woman who's confident she's got a smile on her face tonight she is confident she will win this case thank you very much veena malik for speaking first thank to you. headlines today